So guys, finally we got some decent marketing. Uh, for the longest time ever, people thought this was like an air conditioning unit or a car wash place, but here now it finally says new power, new swap station. And here it has a little bit of advertising saying that uh, charging takes one hour. Well, swapping only takes three minutes and then Neo has over 2,000 swap stations and swap stations is equivalent to the gas station of electric cars and you got some QR codes that you can scan to test drive etc very very nice but there is a very dark backstory to all this marketing that is pretty shocking so let's talk about that so this is what's gotten exposed but before I talk more about this I just want to say that I'm so glad that Neo finally has some very good marketing on the swap stations. For the longest time ever, people thought that these were air conditioning units or car wash units, etc. So this marketing is definitely going to help Neo out. Now, in terms of this thing that got exposed, these are rumors and not confirmed, okay? But here's what it says. It says, I just went to listen to Neo Radio and Qin Li Hong's speech and I almost couldn't stand it about after 12 to 13 minutes. He gave an example. He accidentally asked internally, friends and new owners have suggested writing battery swapping only takes three minutes on the battery swap stations. Now why has it not been implemented after two months of internal work? The reason was that the swap station engineer explained to him that they needed to find a material that was not afraid of exposure to the sun or rain and snow and was guaranteed to last at least three years. So it was not implemented. Chin Li Hong agreed and felt that what the engineer said made sense. So he didn't do anything to argue. This is typical self gloating. First of all, it takes two months to deal with such a small matter, which shows how inefficient it is. Secondly, materials that last at least three years versus two months of missed opportunity, which is more important. Finally, it is if it is true that you are looking for the best materials first, but this is not, does not prevent you from solving it with a cheap solution first. People can indeed see Ching Li Hong's personality is Confucian, slow, kind, and idealistic style. This is suitable for being in charge of branding, but not suitable for being in charge of marketing and communication. Now that was the direct translation of this rumor and not my opinion, okay? Now my opinion is that I'm so glad that Neo finally has some good advertising. And according to what I heard from Neo, uh, once they were able to settle the on the material and get everything done, they were able to implement it within 10 days. So the speed of execution is pretty fast. So it seems like the it's more of the deciding that takes a long time, but the speed of implementation of getting it done getting the stickers on the swap station that they got it done in like 10 days so that was pretty amazing now what that tells you is that once they get a decision done the speed of execution is very good but it does seem like and from what i know that there is a lot of internal debate within management up top about how things should be done, which is a very healthy process, I think. It's better than just having one person having all the say-so about how this is gonna be done, how that's gonna be done, you listen. That would be pretty bad. And having other people have their input and value their input, that's a very important process of making everything better. Now, one thing that they are debating over right now up there in management is how to advertise all the different awards and achievements that their cars have gotten now i told them i told neo that you know you should put posters in your stores and their response was yes actually a lot of upper people have said that 
we wanted to put posters in the stores to you know showcase how great our products are all these different other people testing the product and our product getting first place etc but they don't want their stores to become like a byd store they want it to be more of a pure experience and not so overwhelming and minimalistic when you walk into the store so this is like the the conflicting thing that's preventing them from advertising how great they are and their solution right now they're leaning towards like the like the stickers that you see on the swap stations uh, stickers about their achievements, how great the cars are, uh, in cap safety rating, having that on the cars themselves. And that would be a great way to, of course, promote the car and let people instantly know that the car that they're looking at is fantastic, is great. Now, I also brought this up with Neo. I told them, hey, uh, you know, the screens inside the car, that should not just always display a map. If you guys are in showroom mode, have that always play a video of the swap station because for me personally, having uh, sold so many NEOs alongside NEO employees and NEO sales reps as a volunteer, the thing that I can tell you for sure is that customers, most of them have zero understanding of battery swap. No matter what you say, no matter what you tell them, they just don't have a general gist of what it is and what it's all about and they per perhaps even have less understanding than you guys the viewers so this is a big problem sometimes even after a test drive they come back they still don't know what the hell battery swap is and this is a huge selling point that people are just missing out on and you can't rely on some other brand to advertise the battery swap for you right so they come there's a situation where they sort of understand the car the customer feels like they fully understand the car but they don't understand battery swap and they think that they understand neo but and they make a purchase decision thinking that the competitors cars are much better um, but if they fully understood battery swap then they would not have made this choice and I hope I made that very clear. And this is where the problem lies. And I told Neil, you should always use those screens in the car when it's in showroom to display videos of battery swap. That way people can have a gauge of what battery swap is because there's so many customers. Uh, some of them that I talk to, they think battery swap is done manually by hand like how crazy is that some people have no idea batter so what batter swap is even after a test drive they think that i'm like uh, i'm i'm bullshitting them and i had to pull out a video my own video my own youtube video about batter swap and show that to them that's how ridiculous it is i mean yeah i mean they definitely need to bolster their marketing front and let people know how great their product is in the stores uh, but not doing it just for the sakes of uh, being pure i think this is a big letdown for lots of investors and new owners uh, alike because you're it's a huge missed opportunity i think in my opinion if neo had those posters where a d car tested neo's car and said it was the best to purchase in the summer test and had that as a slogan on the, in the stores, have the Moose test score showing that Neo was number one as a poster in the store. I think this will help a lot of customers realize what they're missing out on. Sacrificing on marketing just to be pure and minimalistic, I think that's very irresponsible towards uh, investors. But the silver lining is they are going to come out with the stickers very soon so that's nice but what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below